Teresa of Larkin Design. I'm here today with my 2014 Project Life album. This is my Throwback Thursday series where I work in an older project to get caught up and I use older products or older collections. And um, so today I'm working with Dear Lizzie's Polka Dot Party and um, I have photos chosen and I have cards chosen from the polka dot party mini kit that um, was available from Project Life. I don't think it's still available. Um, but anyway, um, on the left hand side of my layout I am working on a um, my our son graduated from fifth grade that year and so this is his graduation and absolutely yes I'm using a feminine collection to document a boy's graduation from elementary school um, but I chose some of the wood grain cards and I chose some of the more gray and mint green and um, yellows in the collection um, and he is a boy who happens to like pink um, so I didn't have any problem with using this collection. I thought it kind of worked out nicely. Um, so I've gone through, at this point I've gone through and sort of selected some of the ephemera that I wanted to use. Um, I was actually kind of surprised at how much I have left from this collection. I say that every single Thursday, don't I? Um, which is all the more reason why I keep doing the Throwback Thursday series because it keeps me pulling out those older collections and keeps me using them. Um, and hopefully you're enjoying it too. I had a viewer the other day who um, requested a Dear Lizzie Daydreamer video and um, so I will be doing that probably next week I'll do another one I've actually ended up using a lot of Dear Lizzie in this um, in this album and in this uh, construction project phase of the project so it's been a lot of fun using her products now the stamp set I'm, th I'm using here is one of Ali Edwards um, stamp sets and it's not connected to a kit or anything um, and you can see there I sort of messed up that stamping I was y'all know I have this really bad habit of stamping on the album itself and um, that works out fine if you're stamping on the right hand side and it doesn't work out fine when you're stamping on the left hand side and the pages are bumpy um, so I had to rethink what I wanted to do with this card. <laughs> um, some days I'm good for teaching you what not to do. So I can be the what not to do girl, okay? Okay, <laughs> so moving right along, I'm just going through the, um, the journaling cards that are in this kit to see if there's one that I want to cut apart to add something to this card. Now, I sort of have a little formula for when there's all four um, filler cards going across the center. Um, I try to do a saying, I try to do a journaling card, and then a, an embellishment, and then an icon or something. So, um, anyway, I ended up trimming this one down that says the best or something like that. You are the best. I, I had to like trim it down again. I ended up rearranging the order of the cards and these are old, these page protectors are older American crafts and so that last card on that's next to the binder is the thinnest one. Anyway, I digress again. So I'm going to work on this little wood grained um, title card and I'm just looking to find some embellishments and um, how I want to make my text pop. I know that I'm going to do the, I'm going to use this card as the week number and the date card. Um, so I chose that cutout with the camera on it and then I'm also looking for a floral 
embellishment, just a little touch up there in that upper left-hand corner of the card. And so now I'm going to select my alphabets and numbers to create the week number. And so, of course, you have to have the polka dots when you use polka dot party. Um, these were an iconic alphabet with this collection that I, I really like it. Um, so week 24 is down, and then I'm going to um, include the date. And I think it's June 9th through, through the 15th or 16th or something like that. So I'm just using those small alphabets to add that. And I know, I know it's excruciating to watch someone else put down alphabets. <laughs> okay, so um, of course I put them down and then they, I, did, I wasn't really happy with where I put them. So now I'm going to move them again. There we go. Okay. And then I decided to draw a little box around that just to make it pop. And that card is done. Now I think um, what I'm doing here is looking for a sticker to add to that photo. And so I did that and then I'm going to stamp on that. And I'm just looking for the right stamp. It already has words on it. Um, I think they said love this or something like that. And then I went to, I forgot I put the stamp itself or the sticker itself on the page protector. Okay, so I add story. So it's love this story. Okay. And again, imperfect stamping, not stamping on my work surface. <laughs> and moving right along. So on the other side of this is the update for the construction project and um, in this week in our process the house was all locked up and that meant that the kitchen cabinets could be delivered and installed. Um, so at this point we're locked out of the house and um, those boxes that are in that picture right there are actually the kitchen. Um, we were looking through the laundry room windows and we saw those in the house. I took That's actually a picture that I took through the window because um, this was kind of an exciting couple of days for me and our contractor who, again, I'm realizing was the master of surprise and the master of drama. So, you know, he had the house locked down so that to avoid the risk of vandalism or damage to the cabinets. Um, so we were in suspense. And then, um, so I'm just going to add this fun little title here. And I'll, I'll tell you that um, I'm writing out, yeah, that's our kitchen. And... Um, so, and then I'll add a little bit of hand journaling or handwritten journaling here in a second as well. Um, and the journaling is <clears throat> something to the effect of, yep, in those boxes right there. And then I'm stamping a little bit using the um, Becky Higgins Project Life word strips. Um, and of course it didn't quite go the way that it was supposed to, but that's okay. Um, so now I'm just going to journal a little bit about what I just said, about how that was our kitchen in those boxes, and we were locked out, and we knew that um, our time to do our portion of the project, which is the painting and the landscaping, that, that, that that's coming very soon. Um, I think at this point we probably knew more about when the exact date was um, and so we had been 
I wrote about how we had been planning this. Actually, here I just gave sort of a timeline of um, the 9th, the kitchen was delivered, the 11th through the 13th it was installed, and then on the 13th we got our keys, and that's when our part of the project began. Um, so, and then on this journaling card here, I'm going to write a little bit more about um, how we had been planning, and we really did. We had to watch some videos about what all the process involved. Um, I haven't written about this yet, but we had to um, write, we had to watch these videos about um, what we were expected to do and what what the walls were supposed to look like and what what all we were responsible for because um, there were some things that we had to do and there were some things that the contractor had to come in and do behind us and then we had to go after the contractor again and do more so um, we had to learn about what we were actually getting ourselves into and I wrote on the journaling card that we were actually, there was a little bit of anxiety involved there, and to please say prayers. <laughs> so we were, we were a bit nervous about this. I think the biggest challenge that we felt was going to be the heat because it's coming on the middle of June and the first part of July. Um, so I'm just going to begin winding this project down. Um, I'm just creating this one last label to embellish this journaling card. I love that label. Can't believe how long I held on to it. Um, and then I'm going to add one or two more of these word strips. I'm just waiting to see what else I do. Nope, I didn't add a word strip. I added some of these heart stickers. And then one more word strip on top of the photo of our kitchen. And so this photo, we're actually taping up the kitchen. We had to paint around it. So that's all for this layout today. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. And I will um, see you next week. Okay, bye-bye.